Hey everyone, I'm Madison and welcome or welcome back to my channel, Mad Crafty. So there's a new Tulip product. This is it. It is the Mystery Dye Poppers. I don't know what this means at all. I just saw it and I picked it up and I knew I had to review it. So let's look at the box first. So it says on the side here, smash open for an explosion of colors. So I guess there's smashing involved in this. There's also mystery, of course, who doesn't love mystery, right? Okay, in the back, it tells you the colors that are in there, which I guess is not entirely a mystery. I don't know. So basically it makes two projects. Uh, it comes with a popper mallet, mystery dye poppers, instructions, and project inspiration. Yeah, it looks like there's these like little tubes and you smash them open and color comes out. I don't know, it kind of sounds fun, so let's try it. Okay, so all it truly is is this paper mallet and little like tubes of, I guess, the mystery dye. Interesting. And then here are our instructions. And then of course the generic stuff on the back, you know, set up your work service, pre-wash the fabric. Honestly, I never pre-wash my fabric. Okay, so long story short, first you choose your technique, you know, spiral, crumple, etc. Then you fold your damp garment into a desired pattern. So you're gonna dampen your um, t-shirt with water and then, you know, tie it up however you want. Then you put it in a sealable plastic bag and cover it with plastic and smash the poppers with a mallet, which could be great therapy, right? It said, note, using a sealable bag or covering with plastic before smashing poppers is recommended but not required. Okay, so if you want it to be messy and have fun, you do not need to put it in the plastic. I might not use the plastic, we'll find out. And it also says, pro tip, if using a seal top plastic bag, partially seal the top to allow air to escape during the popping process. Okay, if you get this, please read the directions because they look like they're important. Okay, now step four is a little bit different. Usually when you tie dye, you know, you keep it in that bag till the next day and then you unfold it. But this one says for the reveal, you can discard the dye popper shells and for an instant design reveal, unfold and shake the garment over a trash receptacle until all popper shells have been discarded. Lay the freshly dyed garment out flat and cover with plastic wrap to keep it damp. Allow the dye to set for a minimum of four hours to a maximum of 16 hours. And then this is a little bit different too. Um, normally I would squeeze out all the dye, as you know, in the sink before you put it in the washer, but this one says to not do that. It actually says transfer the dyed garment directly to the washing machine and wash in a regular cold setting and tumble dry on the low heat setting. Okay, so this is different. I'm not sure why, but let's do it. So today I have a Gildan 100% cotton t-shirt and I also have these new um, tulip twist headbands and I got tulip scrunchies just for fun, right? Just throw them all in there together. Okay, so here's my shirt and just for fun I'm gonna do kind of like a medley of tie-dye techniques here. Um, I'm gonna start with a bullseye in the center. Then I'm gonna tightly swirl it a little bit and then I'm actually just gonna crumble the rest of it. And I'm actually gonna take some rubber bands and just kind of put them in random spots so it all gets held together. And then of course I have the scrunchie and the headband and I don't know how to do this, but my idea is to just stick it inside the shirt somehow so that it absorbs some color too. Um, I'm just gonna like twist this like this and kind of stuff it in there so I don't know, it share it, get something in there. And of course I always use gloves before using the dye. And now I'm just randomly putting these in. Guys, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Um, how is the dye gonna get all over the shirt? How much dye comes out of these little tablets? I don't know, I guess we're gonna find out. Okay, now it's mallet time, here we go. Okay guys, this is looking way cooler than I anticipated. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take all of the little capsule uh, white things out and flip them over, and then I'm gonna open it up for the immediate reveal. Okay, so this is interesting. I kind of wish there was more color in it, but I don't hate it. Okay, so here's the headband, and this is not too cute in my opinion. 
Eh, yeah, I don't know. And then here's the scrunchie, and I actually love this one. This is, again, that sprinkles look. My favorite, favorite part is the bottom here with all of these like really cool speckles. Uh, I kind of wish the whole shirt was like that. And I guess maybe if you don't roll it up, the whole shirt can be like that, which I regret not doing, but. Okay, now I'm gonna let it sit for the 12 hours and then throw it in the washing machine tomorrow. And here's how it looks. Okay, here's how it turned out. I love it. It reminds me of vanilla ice cream with sprinkles all over it, and I love sprinkles. I especially love like the speckle effect it gives. This is totally different than traditional tie-dye. I would definitely try this kit if you're into trying tie-dye everything. Totally go and get it. Great for kids, great for adults. Uh, as I was doing it, I thought, like, this is weird. I don't know if this is gonna be fun, but the outcome is great. Here's what the back looks like. My only small complaint is that this kit only comes with enough dye if you wanna use all the colors for one shirt. So I guess you would need multiple kits for multiple shirts, but again, one kit did one shirt, a scrunchie and a headband for me. So if you wanna do more than one, definitely get three, four, five, six, <laughs> however many you need. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love if you could click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel to see more tie-dye kit reviews, fun, creative, crafty content, DIYs, all that fun stuff. You can find me on Pinterest, Instagram, and TikTok at Mad Crafty. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.